Now you know what, it's episode 100, so bollocks to it, let's have a little bit of fun. Just this one time, I'm gonna be like all of the other tech YouTube kids and run into frame at the start of the video like I was too lazy or stupid to edit that part of it out later. Right, here we go. Way! Hey guys, welcome to the one motherfucking hundredth episode of Techspert Weekly. The weekly tech news show that shouldn't have even made it to episode bloody one, let alone 100, as it is the singular worst thing on the internet. Like imagine if PewDiePie and James Corden got together and started some sort of Mrs. Brown's Boys fan vlog, this would still be worse. It's the YouTube equivalent of ball cancer. Techspert Weekly! <sighs> Right, just popped out for a fresh pint. Now we're all good to go. Uh, right, news, tech news. That's what we sometimes do on this show. So first of all, of course, the massive Mobile World Expo 2022 conference kicks off in Barcelona this Sunday. So it's basically just a booze-fueled plane ride away with the prospect of a shag load of phones and other shiny tech launching at the other side of it. But even though that kicks off this weekend, that hasn't stopped some manufacturers from shooting their loads early, including our great mates at Oppo, who moistened our hankies just yesterday with the spoonge-tastic new Find X5 Pro. This gorgeous slab of ceramic boasts an impressive camera setup powered by Oppo's Marisilicon NPU, plus you've got Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 smarts, a massive battery with 80 watt fast charge support, a sleek AMOLED screen with all the trimmings, and lots more fancy bollocks on top. My full unboxing is live right now on Techspert, and I'll hopefully have a full Oppo Find X5 Pro review for you next week if I don't drink myself to death out in Barca. This week also saw the global launch of Vivo's iQ9 Pro, a phone which I managed to mispronounce literally every time I said the bloody name during my unboxing, and I wasn't even smashed. Not even half cut if you don't count the breakfast Bloody Marys. But anyway, the phone itself is proper lush. Inside you've got the supremely beefy Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, while the screen is a near 6.8 inch Quad HD Plus AMOLED beast that is frankly jizz juice for the soul. Is that already too many semen references for the one video? I feel like I'm going a little bit overboard here. The spunk cup doth overflow. But anyway, I've done a full unboxing of that one too, so go have at it if you so desire. I promise it doesn't contain anywhere near as much talk about man fat as this abomination right here. But yes, this weekend, the MWC 2022 Expo kicks off and it's actually happening in real life in Barcelona now, so I don't have to stream these launches over Microsoft pissing teams. Now I can enjoy them in a big old sweaty auditorium packed to the gills with my fellow nerds. And I've got to admit, it might be a little bit weird, but I really have missed that unique tech expo aroma. The smell that can only be described as the aftermath of a particularly amorous felching session crossed with a goblin's armpit and weak old roadkill. But what's that, I hear you ask? What big launches can we actually expect from MWC 2022, you big bald prick? Well, Samsung is going to be out in Barca launching its new Galaxy Book 2 Pro laptops on the Sunday. They've already spoiled that much, but they haven't given away any actual details, the big teasers. Never fear though, I get the distinct and strange feeling that I might have some crafty hands-on action with the new devices coming at you as the launch kicks off on that Sunday evening. Winky face. And slightly earlier in the day on the Sunday, you can also expect Huawei to pop up onto some sort of stage and chat about its latest computery gear, including convertibles and a good bit of matebook action. Realme is going to be out in Barca on the Monday, unveiling the global version of its GT2 Pro flagship phone. And this flash bit of kit is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and features a paper-like design and quite similar specs to the Vivo EQ I, I, core? I One of these days, I'll bloody get it right. Probably the day I don't actually do drinking before I shoot a video. So actually, probably never then. And Realme also claims it will be revealing the world's fastest smartphone charging tech, said to be 200 watts. 200 ruddy watts? So basically forget charging your smartphone overnight, all you'll need to do is plug it in in the morning when you stagger out of bed and then it'll be fully charged again before you even finish your first breakfast pint. And I think that Xiaomi did officially announce 200 watt fast charging about a year ago or something but they haven't actually bothered to put it in any smartphones so maybe Realme will actually chuck it in a device and therefore it will be the world's first. And that same day, Honor will be launching its new Magic 4 series of blowers, spotting the iconic circular camera chassis we've seen leaked on the interwebs. The Magic 4 Pro should boast flagship style specs including a WQHD Plus AMOLED screen, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset again, 
and no less than five camera lenses include an ultra wide angle, telephoto and god even knows what else, probably that macro bollocks or whatever. So that right there is the big stuff but you can also expect some budget friendly smartphones from the likes of TCL and Nokia to also emerge out at MWC. And just like back in the day I'll be bringing you sweaty semi smashed hands on gropey action of all the new shiny tech out in Barcelona and also hopefully a quick roundup of the biggest news next Friday. And that's about it for tech news my lovely so now regrettably it is time for the part of the show where the viewers comment and given the actual quality of the show you can only imagine the state of the actual viewers who stick around long enough to leave a comment. So uh, so here we go for the for the hundredth f***ing time it's viewer comments. <laughs> viewer comments. So Ethan, you have the dubious honour of being the very first commenter on the illustrious episode 100 show. Uh, Ethan says, I would like to see Uncle Spurt pissed as f on episode 100. Ah, getting there, buddy. Uh, Sunny says, Chris, seems like you've been around for a lot more than 100 episodes. Yeah, I do get that a lot. Jesus Christ, you're still on YouTube? How long has it been now? Uh, I, I can't read the laptop mate because you're right in my face you can smell the booze on my breath can't you? You're probably like what? Not again. Come on dude it's still morning. Don't judge me cat. Ow! Jesus Christ! Alright I'm, I'm being judged slash assaulted by my own cat. That's what it's come to these days. Thanks buddy. Uh, well, what the hell was I doing again? Uh, oh yeah Sunny. Uh, Sunny says I hope you do a thousand episodes mate. Keep it up. Uh, consider it kept up just for you sir. Wink and smiley face. Um, a thousand Textbook Weeklies, that would mean a thousand viewer comments as well, Jesus Christ, I'm not sure if my heart can handle that. How old would I actually be <laughs> on the thousandth episode? F**k, maths is really hard after beer. So if I did the show every single week, that would be another 19 years, give or take, so I'd be hitting 60. Oh god, I think my liver will have given up long before then mate. And next up Keith says, Hey Chris, greetings from Sri Lanka. I would love to see a studio tour kind of thingy. Uh, yeah, I did do one a while back, but it's changed a little bit since then. So yeah, let's let's do it. It's episode 100, studio tour. Horn noise, horn noise. Do I have a horn noise? I don't know. If, if I have a horn noise, play it now. Studio tour, studio tour, woo! All righties, uh, let's actually turn this viewer thing around so I can see what I'm doing. Um, so you already kind of know this bit of the studio. I've got a big old telly there with three of my face on it because obviously there's not enough of me on the internet already. I wish there really was three of me then I wouldn't have to spend so bloody long editing. I'm going to spend some more time drinking. Oh, uh, got my uh, my plant there which is still alive even though I haven't watered it in f***ing ages. Thank God for hardy plants. Uh, we've got a little bit of uh, manga and some graphic novels and stuff over here. Love the Fables series and the Sandmans and uh, got that Akira 35 anniversary edition which is proper lush. Got a bit of Calvin and Hobbes as well because they are awesome. Got a big old light ah! and a little light and uh, a whole bunch of crap just in there including some stuff that I need to review and don't judge me on the pink curtains by the way uh, because this used to be my, my daughter's room and I kind of nicked it off her because <laughs> I needed a room to do the YouTubes. I will replace them with proper blackout curtains at some point. Uh, yeah, and good old Veronica is just up here ever watching with her cold, dead eyes. So yeah, I haven't quite got an MKBHD style setup just yet, but I do have booze, so it's all good. Uh, Jim says, when you get to 100 episodes, I'll take you out for a whiskey. Ooh, whiskey. Not a bad shout, lad. Definitely want to finish this. Uh, Grim says, crack open a kind of special brew for the special 100th episode. We're going to need it. Yeah, I hope you guys have got <laughs> enough beer to get through this as well. Special brew, that's a good shout, actually. Either that or buck fast. I think this is only about 5.6% or something. It's... It's, it's, it's not quite doing the job. Uh, Paul says, have you done a video going through the apps you rely on? Uh, no. Dan says, hey Chris, I'm from Australia, Perth, and appreciate your summary of Oz. It's factually correct and made me lol. Yeah, that was after we were talking about all of the, uh, the murder beasts out in Australia last week. I mean, seriously, the wildlife over there just treats every day like it's a non-stop version of the purge. I actually found out this week as well, it's not just the animals over in Australia that will just try and murder you at every given opportunity. Apparently even the pine cones out there are so big they can actually cave your skull in 
If they fell on you, imagine that being braided to death by a bloody pine tree. Uh, next up, Others Sing Puri says, I would love a travel spurt channel, someone who would talk about spots for cheap drink, foods and hotels to pass out in with none of the touristy sights here nonsense. Yeah, I definitely watch this space. I'm well up for doing lots of trips abroad now that we can actually do that shit again. Uh, well, great mate, Oil is back as well. Hello, Oil. Long term uh, viewer, commenter, etc, etc. Says, greetings from Japan, Uncle Spurt. We have a sunny day around 200 days a year on average. Even in the winter, the sun doesn't show any mercy. To be honest, sunny days are great, but here the sun is too strong, so I'm a bit jealous of you. Well, I'd be very, very happy indeed to swap any time here. I would happily live in the land of sushi and anime and tentacle porn. And Doyle also says, and yes, I'm looking forward to the 100th episode, no matter how eldritch it will be. Just gonna look that up, cause I'm not really sure what it means. And apparently means weird and sinister. Well, I think we've ticked both of those boxes in this episode so far. Uh, Keith says, Hi Chris, I'm with you on the return of phones made of metal. Stainless steel would be my choice. Ah, uh, yeah, um, just, there was something about metal smartphones, man. I absolutely adore them. Just rugged as hell and none of that gr the greasy prints or any of that bollocks. They just, yeah, they just looked really nice. Culty Tech says, Salutations from Fort Worth, Texas. Salutations, sir. Uh, what is the best phone display that also has great features and works on T-Mobile in the States? I'm going to hold my hands up and say I've got no idea which smartphones T-Mobile specifically handles in the States, unfortunately, as uh, I, yeah, I just don't have a f***ing clue, basically. Uh, but the good news is that a lot of phones these days uh, boast a decent display. Even budget smartphones around sort of 200 to 300 pound usually have an OLED panel these days, like so the OnePlus, uh, for instance, they've just launched the Nord CE2 5G, which I think is coming to the US, or maybe not actually. Maybe that isn't, so just discount everything I just said. So uh, yeah, hope that helped. Uh, Ian says, have you any news if there's ever going to be an Onward Mobility Blackberry? Um, I'm afraid I come bearing no Blackberry fruit whatsoever. It was announced this week, in fact, that they were jacking in the whole thing, which let's face it, is about as shocking as the news that I'm clutching a pint right now. Doesn't make it any less of a shame, of course. Was really hoping we would get at least one more Blackberry blow before the whole thing just f***ing chucked itself off a cliff and gave up on life, but uh, sadly not the case. Well, I get the feeling that at this point you could probably buy the Blackberry brand's name for probably about like a fiver and a round of drinks down the pitcher and piano or something. So pretty much anyone could spaff out a Blackberry phone if they wanted to. Uh, Mayron says, one question though, how do you afford all of these devices? Uh, well, it's very, very simple really. I don't buy them. I have no money. That's why I spend all of my days in this ring finkel f***ing room pulling phones out of boxes and pretending I actually know things about them. What I actually do, like all other tech journalists, is I get a loan device from the PRs of the companies so that I can generally have for at least a couple of weeks so I can use it as my full-time smartphone, get the reviews spaffed out, and I just pray to God that I don't break the f***ing thing so I can send it back and not get billed. That said, I have bought a couple of phones in the past. The Galaxy A series smartphones, they tend not to have any loan samples of those whatsoever so I do have to spunk out a couple hundred quid on one of them uh, but thankfully generally the videos do really really well and I just about make that money back. Uh, next up, in fact we're pretty much running out of uh, time so last couple of comments. Um, oh we've got Jacob, Jacob from Wuhan who uh, we originally heard from a couple of years ago when the whole pandemic shiz kicked off which was pretty much bang on two years ago now here in the UK. He says I haven't left Wuhan since the pandemic and I've watched your weekly tech news and tech reviews ever since. I mean, Jesus Christ, man, you must be desperate for entertainment if you're still watching this show a couple of years on and still at ground zero. My man, I hope you're keeping safe and I've got no idea what the state of uh, play is in Wuhan right now, but hopefully things are sort of returning to normal again. But yeah, massive thanks to Jacob, to Oil, to all of the long-term viewers and commenters who've been watching this sack of arse juice for the last couple of years. Never expected to reach episode 100. Uncle Spurt is uh, starting to tear up a bit here, getting all, all sentimental and shiz. And let's say massive thanks to everyone who left comments again last week. Please do smash your comments down below and I will try and smash through as many of those as possible next week. And next week, next week, what the fuck is next week? Well, I already bloody said really, didn't I? Uh, Barcelona, I'm going to be out there uh, for a good few days, getting hands on with as much kit as possible. Got a few things in the bag already as well. So they'll be going live uh, with the launches. And if all goes well, as a special treat, the next episode of Techspert Weekly, episode 101, going live next Friday, will have a special competition, a really nice competition as well. Again, touch wood if it doesn't all go to bollocks, so uh, fingers crossed, stay tuned for that. 
In the meantime, have yourselves a wonderful bloody weekend. Uh, as I say, from Sunday, all this stuff will be getting pumped out on here, so definitely come back then. Pog subscribe, ding the notifications bell if you haven't already. Have yourselves a bloody wonderful weekend. Did I already say that? I don't care, I just said it again, because I love you guys so much. Love you!